Hi, my name is Matt Oros, and for the past five years at MIT, I've been leading an effort to develop a kind of concentrating solar thermal power technology appropriate for remote areas of developing countries. It's called a solar ORC, and the ORC stands for Organic Rankin Cycle. That's just a technical term for a kind of steam engine that uses an organic fluid instead of water. In our case, we use a refrigerant, which is the kind of fluid found in an air conditioner or a refrigerator. In fact, our solar ORC works a lot like an air conditioner, only running backwards. Instead of feeding it electricity and blowing cold air into the room and hot air out the window, we supply the ORC with heat and cool it with air, and it produces electricity from the temperature difference. In fact, we use some air conditioner components running in reverse to build our ORC, and it's one of our key strategies for maintaining a low cost. The heat comes from an array of parabolic mirrors, like this one, that track the sun and focus its light energy on a pipe that heats up and delivers its heat to the ORC. We also retain some of this heat and use it for hot water, which is known as cogeneration. Before I came to MIT, I worked as a Peace Corps volunteer in Lesotho in southern Africa. And I know firsthand how difficult life can be without electricity or even hot water. For testing the solo ORC, I chose Lesotho because my experience with the local environment, culture, and language was useful for jump-starting partnerships and training local technicians and engineers. My goal was to develop a solar energy system that could be built by Africans for Africans using supplies that are already available in Africa. After founding a nonprofit called the Solar Turbine Group and submitting a patent application, in 2008 I engaged the Lesotho government to build a full-scale demonstration of this technology at one of 174 rural health clinics. These clinics are located deep in the mountains, far from power lines, and accessible only by 4x4s or small bush planes. Some have permanent doctors, while others have doctors that fly to clinics on weekly rotations. They tend to have four or five nurses and doctors on staff, see about 100 patients per day, and they need an affordable source of electricity and hot water. The solar ORC is the right solution for the job because it's cheaper than either traditional solar panels or diesel generators. And it can also provide that crucial hot water. My goal is to use this solar thermal technology to power clinics, schools, and small communities all over the globe in underserved areas to improve the quality of education and health services, raise living standards, and show how clean energy technology can better people's lives. I think we haven't even begun to explore all of the possibilities for this technology, and I'm excited to make a contribution to the future of clean energy, especially in developing countries.